Welcome. I believe I have stumbled across definitive evidence of the existence of Planet X, sometimes called Nibiru. I found it in some NASA data and further have discovered attempts by NASA to cover it up. So I suggest you stop the video right now and email the link to this video to as many of your friends as you possibly can so they can see it before the government insists that YouTube removes the video from their site. After doing that, download the video, and if this link suddenly disappears, as I suspect it will, please mirror the entire thing back onto YouTube so more people can see it. Thanks. Now let's look what I have found in a rational scientific manner. First I should apologize to the many Nibiru followers on YouTube, for I have posted some derogatory comments about their videos in the past, debunking them as scientific nonsense. Now I find myself far more convinced that you are right, even if in some cases for the wrong reasons. Some of you may have seen some of my The Sun Today videos that I have been making recently. Links to them and some of my other videos are listed in the description box below. In making them I have often used coronagraph data that looks like this. The sun to scale as we see it is the little orange ball in the center of the image. The black disk is the occulting disk that produces an artificial solar eclipse that blocks out bright sunlight so we can see the faint solar corona surrounding the sun. Generally we are looking for explosions of solar gases into interplanetary space, so called coronal mass ejections. This is what a normal coronagraph image looks like. Imagine my surprise when downloading some data from the NASA website when I saw this. It looks as though someone has crudely and in a hurry blocked out large areas of the image. I wondered why. Later the images started to look better but there still seemed to be something wrong to me. They seem to have been edited to cover up something in the bottom left hand corner. However, unlike the public, I have access to the raw data and after a few problems managed to download the original raw data and it looked like this. Notice the difference? There is a bright object on the far left side of the frame that is not there in the public version of the image. I managed to get enough frames to make the following movie before the data server was mysteriously no longer available. Let me play that movie for you. First you see just an ordinary coronal mass ejection in the northeast side of the sun. That's the left. But after a while, a strange object moves into the field of view. Obviously the thing they were trying to cover up. It moves rapidly to the right, growing larger and brighter. What could it be? Look at the size of the disk. It is fully illuminated, which means that it must be a long way away on the far side of the sun. Even so, it is at least a third of the solar diameter which means it must be huge, many times larger than Jupiter. It has a massive ring system which we are seeing edge on, which exceeds the diameter of the Sun by a large margin. That is just plain amazing. It has a very high albedo which means it is covered with clouds, or more likely, ice that it has assimilated from comets that it has encountered over the eons. The huge ring system implies that it is a very massive body, having crushed into sand grains any object that it has captured due to its large gravitational field. It is also moving with incredible speed through the solar system in the opposite direction of the planets, so it is not part of our solar system. I think most likely it is a burned out core of a dead star, but that is only a wild guess on my part. Now for the good news. If my conjectures are correct and it is following a path like this, then there will be only minor effects directly on the Earth. This is the current configuration of the planets. At its closest approach, I estimate that the inner solar system will look like this. Mars, which will be most affected because it will be closest to planet X, will be moving away. So its orbital velocity will be reduced so it will move closer to the Sun. Could that make it warm enough for us to colonize it? The same is true for Venus, but moving closer to the Sun will not help its climate one iota. Mercury and Earth will be pulled towards Nibiru, so their orbital velocities will be increased. That means they will move slightly further away from the Sun, which might help us compensate for some of our global warming problems. The news is not all good, however. Planet X will disrupt orbits of many of the asteroids and some may drop into the inner solar system, which could eventually strike the inner planets, including Earth. Ask the dinosaurs how that turned out. So what have we learned? There is a giant and massive object, possibly the remnant of a burned out star, 
passing through our solar system at very high velocity. It is unlikely that it will hit any of our major planets and should pass well beyond the inner solar system. It may affect some aspects of the Earth, particularly the Earth's orbit, and could in fact help us with our global warming issue. The bad news is that we may be getting more asteroid impacts on the Earth over the next few millennia. If you have watched this video and are convinced even a little more to believe in the existence of Planet X, please pass it on to your friends. And I would like to add just one thing. April Fool! I'm sorry, but I could not resist the opportunity to pull the legs of some of our conspiracy theorist friends on YouTube. All what was presented here is utter scientific nonsense, like most scientific related conspiracy theories. The object we see in the coronagraph image is the planet Mercury. But why does it appear so large and within an apparent ring system? To see coronal mass ejections you need an incredibly sensitive instrument, so when bright objects like the planets come into the field of view, the detector saturates. A huge charge builds up on each pixel of the detector, and that charge has to go somewhere. First it diffuses away into adjacent pixels, making the object look much larger than it actually is. This device was read out by rows, and so there is an easier conductive path along the rows than there is along the columns. Thus the charge spreads preferentially along the rows, give the elongated appearance of rings. It is as simple as that. You have no idea how many UFO and Planet X scares we have had from our data over the years. Now I have a video to point to that can cure them once and for all. Happy All Fool's Day. Keep safe. Bye for now.